It's a reminder of the dangers of distracted driving. Lily Pesavento tackled that issue today. She joins us in the studio with her findings. Lily? Thank you, Tom. Distracted driving is very easy to do, and we've all done it in some form or another. But a lot can happen in those few seconds you take your eyes off the road. This isn't footloose. You can play music in your car, but does the volume level take away from what you should be focused on? You could be distracted depending on the volume um, of a low song, too. If you're just so into that song, you're not. And you see people sometimes are really getting into it. And what about passengers? If you're leaning over and having a full conversation, who is watching the road? Texting while driving isn't the only activity that takes away from a driver's focus. And Chief of Police John Plassey wants to make sure people understand the dangers of distraction. Texting, of course, is illegal, but these other things are distracting as well. Some people put on makeup when they're driving. Karen Torres is a sophomore at Indiana State University, and she sees all sorts of driving faux pas on campus. They'll be turning their music to try to act cool, and so they'll blast it, or they'll change the song just to impress people around them. Because she sees it every day, and because she understands the dangers, Torres drives as carefully as possible for herself and others on the road. It's something that I'm very passionate about. It. I try my best not to get distracted while I drive just because I have done it before and I could have caused something terrible. The increase in distracted driving cases around the state and even the U.S. is causing some teens to delay their driver's education. And that was the case with sophomore Katie Higginbotham. I actually didn't get my license until this past summer and I'm 19, almost 20 years old just because driving I take pretty seriously. If you get a phone call or text message you feel you must answer, do so responsibly. Sometimes there's important stuff or emergencies. I would just pull over to the closest safe space, obviously not in the middle of the road, but just pull over, take care of what you have to take care of, and then keep going. Driving comes with a lot of responsibility. Focus on the road, leave early, don't speed, and remember that there are other people just like you who want to arrive safely. You're in charge of a lot of weight with that automobile, and it can do a lot of damage if it's not in control, or you're not in control of that and um, not paying attention to what's going on, and unfortunately, we've seen things happen when people don't pay attention. Everyone has their bouts of distracted driving, but save that phone call or text until you get to your destination, and avoid other distractions like putting on makeup. I can't imagine applying mascara in a moving vehicle is very easy. Tom? No, I don't think it's very good. Thank you, Lily, and a good reminder of this whole story. Not only is distracted driving dangerous, but if you cause a wreck, you could receive an infraction.